Welcome to listen to our walk. Surprising this crosstalk of quantum computers through pulse and scheduling co-optimization. Our walk targets superconducting qubits, a leading technology for building quantum computers. Many organizations, such as Google, IBM, and Rigetti, have built quantum computers based on this technology. And the quantum advantage over classical computing was first demonstrated on a superconducting quantum computer. Currently, superconducting qubits suffer from a destructive type of noise called ZZ crosstalk. It refers to an always-on sigma Z tensor sigma Z interaction between coupled qubits. ZZ crosstalk can affect quantum computing in several ways. It is often a limiting factor in quantum gate fidelity. And when performing multiple gates simultaneously, it will further increase the error rate of each gate. And ZZ crosstalk can also cause correlated high weight errors, which are difficult even for quantum error correction to deal with. Thus, it is crucial to find an effective approach to tackling ZZ crosstalk. Indeed, researchers have already made many efforts. Most of their methods rely on sophisticated and specific chip designs. This slide shows three popular methods. Introducing a tunable coupler between qubits, using heterogeneous qubits, or constructing multiple coupling paths. The main drawbacks of using new chip designs are the extra complexity imposed on chip fabrication and control. Besides, these designs often incur additional decoherence factors that shorten the lifetime of qubits. This motivates us to propose a software approach to avoid the new and specific chip designs. We find that superconducting quantum computers always use microwave pulses to control qubits. As shown in the red figure, there are X, Y, and Z control lines transmitting pulses to the qubit. These pulses are shipped by software so we expect to suppress ZZ crosstalk by optimizing the pulses. More precisely, we aim to execute our circuit on quantum computer. The whole circuit can be regarded as performing a unitary operation U, and the computer can be modeled by its Hamiltonian, where omega t are control pulses. We can optimize these pulses globally by maximizing the fidelity between the evolution ut of the computer and the target operation u of the circuit. However, as the time for pulse optimization is exponential in the number of qubits, this kind of global optimization is unacceptable for large circuits. We address this problem by leveraging circuit to gate compilation and co-optimizing pulses and scheduling policies. Specifically, we optimize the pulses in implementing quantum gates and provide local suppression of ZZ crosstalk surrounding the gate. We then design scheduling strategies for exploiting the ability of local suppression to achieve global suppression across the whole circuit. In our approach, we only need to optimize pulses on small systems, and we design a scheduling algorithm that takes polynomial time. In this sense, we tackle ZZ crosstalk in a scalable way. We will give an example to motivate and illustrate our approach in more detail. Suppose that we shall execute our circuit on our 15 qubit device. For now, let's consider executing the three gates in parallel. We use black vertexes to denote qubits with a gate applied on and white for those without gates. We call the connected component of qubits with the same color region. The device now have two regions. From the perspective of regions, we can classify crosstalk into two types, intra-region and cross-region, which we represent with solid and dashed edges, respectively. We optimize pulses not only to implement target quantum gates, but also to surprise cross-region crosstalk surrounding the gates. In this example, we optimize pulses to implement C0 
and two edge gates, and spreads crosstalk on all the dashed edges. To characterize separation performance, we introduce two metrics, NQ and NC. NQ is the number of qubits in the largest region. Here, the largest region is the one consisting of 11 white vertexes. The other metric, NC, is the number of couplings with an surprised crosstalk. In other words, the number of solid edges. Here, we have 13 solid edges. For both metrics, smaller values mean better separation. We propose two strategies to reduce the metrics. The first one is to insert additional identity gates to the qubits on which no gates are performed. For example, we can apply extra identity gates to the qubit 1 and 11. Though identity gates do not alter qubit states, their pulses are also optimized and can surprise more crosstalk. We can see that both NQ and NC have decreased. The second strategy is to partition a circuit into multiple layers. In this example, we partition the circuit into two layers. The first layer has a CNOT gate on qubit 7 and 8, and an H gate on qubit 10. The second layer has an H gate on qubit 9. After inserting identity gates, we can see that the matrix of each layer becomes smaller, which indicates better separation. However, multiple layers reduce parallelism, and in practice, we need to balance parallelism and separation performance. To summarize, the workflow of our approach is that, given a circuit, we first partition it into multiple layers, then we supplement each layer with identity gates. Finally, we translate each gate to its corresponding pulses that are optimized to suppress this crosstalk. Next, we briefly describe the challenges in applying our approach in practice and show how we address them. The first challenge is that pulse optimization is not scalable. As we mentioned before, the time consumption grows exponentially with the number of qubits. The second challenge arises when inserting identity gates. We expect to minimize both NQ and NC. However, as we will discuss later, this is NB complete for general graphs. The third challenge is circuit partitioning, as it is impractical to test all the possible partitioning schemes. We need an efficient method. For the first challenge, the key to addressing it is that we focus on cross-region crosstalk. To see this, suppose that we have optimized a single qubit gate U1 and a two qubit gate U2 individually, and this optimization spreads cross-region crosstalk surrounding each gate, which we show with dashed edges. When we need to apply U1 and U2 in parallel, we do not need to optimize again, but can directly apply the previously optimized pulses. Though the three qubits now form a new region, we can find that all the cross-region crosstalk is still surprised by its pulses. Actually, this result holds for arbitrary general regions, and it means that our approach is scalable, as we only need to optimize pulses in basic regions of a few qubits, and avoid the high overhead for optimizing in general regions. Let's move to the second challenge. Execute a set of gates with the assistance of additional identity gates, such that NQ and NC are minimized. The key to formalizing and then solving this problem is the connection between qubits status and a cut of the device topology. The status of a qubit is either with a gate applied on or not. The qubits with a gate acting on form a set S, and the others form a set T. S and T constitute a cut of the topology graph. With this connection, we can solve the problem by finding such a cut of the topology graph that the qubits 
acted on by original gates, all lie in the side eyes, and any remaining qubits in the side eyes are acted on by identity gates. And this cut also minimizes NQ and NC. It is hard to find such a cut as minimizing only NC, that is the number of solid edges, is equivalent to maximizing the number of edges across a cut, that is the number of dashed edges. This is the max cut problem and is NP complete for general graphs. Fortunately, the topology of most near-term devices and the topological error correction codes is planar. It is reasonable and meaningful to design a solution that targets planar topologies. And on planar topologies, we can further exploit the duality between a cut and an old vertex pairing of the dual graph. To find the desired cut, we can search over old vertex pairings, which can be done in polynomial time. We omit the details here. The last challenge is to strike a balance between parallelism and crosstalk suppression during circuit partitioning. We propose a heuristic algorithm that makes crosstalk suppression the first priority and then maximizes parallelism. It iteratively deals with the currently scheduled buckets, which can be classified into two cases. We will illustrate them with an example. We will execute the circuit B on the device A. At first, all the scheduler gates are single qubit gates. In this case, we propose a card based strategy. We first find a card of the topology. This card will partition qubits and quantum gates into two sets. We schedule the set of more gates. In this example, we schedule the H gates. The advantage of this strategy is that we can always achieve complete suppression on bipartite topologies, as in the example with an additional identity gate on qubit 9, a crosstalk on the device is surprised. After deciding the first layer of gates, the schedulable gates now have three two qubit gates, which we label by a, B, and C, respectively. In this case, we propose a distance-guided strategy based on the observation that executing gates with a longer distance usually benefits suppression. The bottom figure shows three ways to execute C0 gates. Case A and C have a longer distance than the other cases, and executing them simultaneously does achieve smaller NQ and NC. The details of our strategy are kind of complicated and thus omitted here. To summarize, we propose co-optimizing pulses and scheduling to surprise ZZ crosstalk, and we have addressed three challenges to put it into practice. We have evaluated our approach by simulations at the Hamiltonian level and experiments on a real device. We used Gaussian pulses and parallel scheduling as the baseline. For pulse optimization, our approach specifies only the optimization objectives and does not limit the method used. So we have used two different pulse optimization methods, optimal control and part, to demonstrate this. We first tested our approach with ZZ crosstalk as the only noise source. The x-axis shows different applications, each with 4 to 12 qubits. The bar chart shows application fidelity, and the triangles show the improvement of our approach over the baseline. Higher is better. It is showing that our approach can largely improve application fidelity by up to 81 times. Then we added decoherence errors into simulations. We performed seven groups of simulations. In each group, we used the same application, but with different T1 and T2 times of qubits. Smaller T1 and T2 times mean more severe decoherence. The results show that 
the coherence has limited influence on the effectiveness of our approach. Finally, we performed RAMSI experiments on a real device of three transmog qubits. RAMSI experiments are aimed at measuring ECC crosstalk strings. We conducted three groups of experiments to measure strings on different couplings. The result of each experiment have two curves that oscillate over time. These strings is smaller when the oscillation frequency of the two curves gets closer. It is showing that our approach can reduce these strings by about two orders of magnitude. This indicates the strong suppression of this crosstalk. Thank you for your listening.